Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, if you guys are cutting with the laser today for your wood design, here's your piece of wood up here. Um, I rolled the dimension up on the board. It's 18 inches by 24 inches, and the thickness is uh, 0 .197, um, which is uh, by millimeters. So these are the only board that I could find that was close to the quarter without the um, without the boss the, the um, dust inside. So that's the only reason why I got these here. So um, you guys are limited to one only. So you guys had to utilize it. I uh, will recommend um, measuring out like how big your parts are and then kind of like do an estimate on the board and where to actually cut it so that you know exactly how it's being cut. And then there is some scrapped um, wood pieces over there that if you guys wanted to test out your parts, say you guys wanted to see how it, you wanted to um, engrave on it, how deep the engraving is, or how um, deep the raster you guys want to do, or the dark the raster. So I kind of, um, I know you guys, uh, some of you guys sat when I did this little wood design. So this is um, what it looks like. I um, have another one, I didn't bring it, but then I actually made this uh, raster a little darker. So um, it will show a little bit more darker. And then this part also, but the here I just kind of just like, this one was, I just left it at the, um, you know, the the, uh, temp, the actual typical adjustment that it has over there. I didn't make any adjustment to it, so it looks like this. It's pretty light, I'll say. Yeah, so um, take your wood, write your name on it. You guys can leave it in the back, um, in the lab, but make sure you guys put your name on it. Um, if you guys do start cutting pieces and um, you guys don't want to take it home, uh, there is cubbies over there, so make sure you guys put in a cubby. Uh, we have masking tape, write your name on it, put it on the cubby so that we know that that's yours. So um, I know that we do clean up the semester, at the end of the semester, so anything that's still left in your cubby, they're gonna be tossed. Yeah. So um, Lydia messaged me, um, for some reason, the video that I recorded for lecture last week, um, it didn't um, have audio. So then that's why I was like, oh, I did, good thing I didn't even uh, upload it for you guys. <laughs> so um, it was about symbols and call outs. So I'll go over it again here. And then the winner for the airplane was Surrey, he got a shirt for solid work. So um, those who didn't come, uh, let me know, schedule a date with me. So I, he, the project your plane do have to fly. Doesn't have to fly that far, but it has to fly. With a 50, I put a 50 cent piece in my it flew. It flew. <laughs> like, we were just talking about like different sizes of uh, coins and stuff, and then she made her coin a little bit like a little slot, pretty big. And I was like, oh, and she was like, I, I need a fifty cents one. <laughs> so, um, just a reminder, wood design. You guys are presenting, and fully um, should be assembled on Wednesday, next Wednesday. So I did move the date over because I did it I'll do on Monday, but I made it do Wednesday instead. So right after Halloween. So these are the um, symbols call out that I kind of like went over. Can kind of see these are used more for um, I would say engineering call outs here, and then this is what. Uh, a thread call out will be for a screw and it tells you what they are. These are in millimeters. And then here's another one. It tells you how to read them. And then this is how you would draw it. And then we also went over um, welding. So these numbers correspond to how the weld will look like here. So this week you guys are doing a welding table. So these are really good notes to see and like to see how a table is put together also. So I have a little confusion on this. Mm -hmm. um, so from the, the welding symbol part, mm -hmm. part, the one fourth is coming, so if you look at, you look, I don't know if you can see it on your part or your end. The one fourth up here? Yeah, the one fourth up there. Mm -hmm. On that side though? This one? 
Oh yeah, yeah, that side. What is this circle for? Um, it was just it's just so circle, circle you to let you know that's how it looks like the call out, the circle. It, you don't have to put the circle on it. Okay. It's just showing you this dimension is over here. This but you one. Want us to draw that um, yeah, so symbol like this. Okay. So you do your number and then symbol, the and then it'll show you how the um, welding will look like. You don't have to draw the welding. It's just the call out, the um, just so the welder so will you know. Just want us to do the circle part. Um, yes. So it'll be the number like this. It's gonna go into it'll be the like drawing this. of the of this one up top. Um, so it's gonna go. This is uh, the example of the symbols, and then I'll pull up that table for you guys. So this will be the welding table that you guys will draw here. Here is the the done table, and then this is what you guys would draw. As we're drawing. Mm -hmm. And then your welding symbols instead of here. Here is your, you're gonna create a, also a cut list. The cut list is gonna be how many parts you need. And then your welding symbol is gonna go um, in between the cut list. So you're gonna do these call out where it's happening at. And then I didn't understand what the, um, so how like on the leg, on the table legs, it says mm -hmm. four a circle, and then it says four over three, or four, Oh, oh, here. Yeah. So this is the cut list. So, so it's I'm telling you, four. this is telling you, um, this this is a four, a number four and a number three. So you come down here to your cut list. So number four and number three will be here. Yeah. So. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because so I, I go, I go. I don't know what that means. <laughs> so instead of uh, doing the call out like this, you will do actual the welding symbols here, and then you just put your cut list here. Here it was just showing you. It's just pointing out where it's at. So on the. I don't think I still get it. Okay. <laughs> so here it gives you, um, like the one to one is telling you that it's the this is the material. It's referring to this cut list. So one to one will be your top table. So that's why it's pointing to one to one. And then this one is three to four. So um, when you weld it, you'll do the three and the, the three before the four. And then when you come over here, you'll do the four before the three. That's why it's kind of telling you. But then I didn't actually wanted these call out. You will actually do these call out here. Mm -hmm. The actual symbol, how you're putting this. So then I should tell you here, um, use the following callouts to attach three and four, which is the legs, to the legs, and then um, the legs to the top of the table, which is going to be, uh, when you flip it inside, it's going to be this co these corners here. Yeah. So it'll be the one to the two. And when we're drawing it on the, um, on the AutoCAD, mm -hmm. we're doing it in a 60, 30, 90, or... Or one fifty, or how we're drawing it, and top view, bottom. Um, so I know this one. This person did draw, um, kind of um, the bottom instead of giving you guys. So he did the the bottom instead of the top. That's why this is not on top. So this table is actually flipped. Yeah. Oh. So that's why he had it. The the person who drew it is on the bottom. So you guys don't get confused. That's the top because it's not the top. This is the top. Yeah. So then this will be the bottom. And, and then, then that view is in a, it's going off of the isometric, is that what mm -hmm. that one is? Yes. Okay. And then you guys gonna do the front and the right. And and then um, here, I'll show you today, I'll actually show you guys how to do isometric. So then you guys will um, understand how to draw this one and then do the call outs on it. So here, um, it does tell you draw the orthographic views and the isometric view. Yeah, I know, I was like, <laughs> so yeah, so that's why I did a lecture on this one last week because I, I wanted to make sure uh, we understand that we're drawing the ISO also so we can do the call outs on it. So last week assignment was this one here where we... How come, are those open for us now like that? Um, yeah, it should be open. So it'll be the screw call outs that we are doing. So you would draw, you would draw your block and then you'll cut the section in half, and then you'll hatch these, and then you'll do the callouts for this. Did you grade mine? I did that a little bit. Um, I haven't graded some of you guys yet, just because some of you guys are barely turning it in. And then you guys have until the end of um, this month to turn the size on it in. So you still have a week. And we so. got to put all that stuff up there, too? I don't know if I did that part. Um, um, on the top of the, the bottom drawing? Here? Yeah. Oh, yeah, you. this is your callout. So this will be your symbol callout. Oh, okay, yeah. I think I'm missing that. So the symbol call out, it's going to be in um, GDT form. Um, sorry, this is the welding. Oh. 
Okay, so when you go into here, so you're gonna do annotation. We're gonna do a multi-leader. And then when we go to symbols, we're gonna go to other, and then this is where we turn it to the G, GDT here. So that's the um, font call out that you guys need on there. And then so this will be the depth here. This is um, counter bore and counter sink symbols here. So let me select that, select, and then you're gonna do copy. And then you come over here, control V will be paste. And then enter. Where'd you get that bear line from? You put it there? Um, this line here? Yeah, no, the line. This one? Yeah, oh, it's that. from the annotation. So, so yes, let's leave that. So we're gonna go to annotation here, this um, tab here, and then we're gonna go to multi-leader. And then click off, and then from here, we're gonna go symbol, other, and then Type in G here, so it'll take you to the G font, and then we want GDT. Okay. And then that one is um, counter board. We're gonna do counter sync, select, copy, and then come here, control V. So that's counter sync symbol. And then say I want it to do counter sync, and then 10 inch. Depth, so I'll come back in here and then come other and then do that G again. You only have to change it once, but when you click off, it automatically goes back to the default. So let's do G. So, would we be able to put like the symbols that we need in there and then like space it? Mm -hmm. okay. So, I can do like so I could come in here, select that one, come in here, select that one, and then come here, select that one, and I want to add symbol. I'll copy and I'll come in here and then I'll paste. So then now I'll just do that and then I'll do 12 inches here and then I'll do five and then add four feet. So then it would be like that. Yeah. So you could just grab all the symbol you need. I was, looking, I was like, I don't see this nowhere in the TV. <laughs> yes. Like, so um, for the symbol, when I did it last week, um, it was in the Arial font. So you can get all these symbols um, in, the, in the font, but they would be just super tiny. So that, like, so for example, if I do the Arial font, you have to scroll down through all these symbols. Oh yeah, that's to what find I was, it. Yeah. That's what I was going through. I was like, so yeah, so GDT is the um, the one that they uh, it's used typical. So then that's why it has already all the symbols, the mechanical symbols. So a lot of uh, fonts, mechanical drawings are in GDT, which is stands for um, it, I think it stands for Goth something. Yeah, it's a <laughs> I think it's Goth dra drafting um, text or something like that. I, I forgot what it was. I, I did the, I because like uh, when you take drafting, that's how you had to write all your symbols in GDT. Yeah, it was a while. I forgot what the name was. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. It just stands for goth. I remember that. Yeah. So that's um, the symbols for the screw call out there, and then um, here, these are the welding symbols. Here. Geometric. Dimensioning and tolerance. <laughs> <Good>. <laughs> yeah, so these are the welding symbols up here. Um, so I will show you guys how to get to the symbol. Can I use the like, G in front of you? Um, no, thank you. So here is the. Ooh. Let's oh yeah, let's do split screen, and then let's go to. So how to find this symbol, you're gonna actually go into your um, file explorer. We're gonna go to this PC. This is where your C drive is at. To get to the routing part. Mm -hmm. Okay, so go to this PC. So let's give it to, here you go. So 
So we're gonna follow. We're actually following this path right here. So we're following this path here. Where did you say the path at? So um, right here. Oh, I'll actually put it into um, auto uh, into um, Canvas so for you guys. So this PC window. So thing. then you go to. Um, yeah, so you go to your C drive. So this is what it's telling you. Go to your C drive. So you're going to go to your C drive window. And then you're going to go to Autodesk. Sorry, Program Files here. So this will be the program file. So we will go here. So we're already in your C drive. C drive is right there. And then we'll go to Program Files. So we'll go here, Program Files. And then it wants you to go to Autodesk. So we go to Autodesk. And it's gonna want you to go to AutoCAD, whatever year 24. you have. Mm -hmm. So it's 24. And then it's gonna tell you go to sample folder. So you go down here to your sample folder. And then it's gonna tell you English and US. And then it's gonna tell you to go to the design center. So you're gonna go to design center. And then welding. So all these are actually. Um, example files. So you say you don't want to actually create your tool palette, you can come here and it's already there for you. So we're gonna go to welding and then that's how you come up with this one. So all these welding symbols are already there for you. So you don't have to actually draw these. And these are created in blocks so you cannot edit these. Oh, can you still them though? Yeah, so you will copy it over. So you will do your leader, And then you do that. And then we can move them though. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. So that's how you will do those symbols here. And then if you want to add text, you'll come in here. I'm add do eight over two. No wonder why this 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 program is good. <laughs> yeah. So then it'll be something like that. And that'll be your symbol for that table. Just press escape. Yeah, so here, oh. so these are already created drawings. DWG saved uh, in there. So you could come in here, you can look at your fasteners. Here's all your screws already drawn. These are, um, these are typical screws. So these are already to size. So remember, I was telling you guys, if you guys wanted to actually put screws into your um, wood pieces, you guys need to pre-drill the holes. So you can come in here and then take a look at these here. And we can't break them to be a different size? They have to be that same size? Um, you can pick a di different size. These are just typical sizes. Oh, okay. These are um, wood, common. Um, yeah, common ones. And then, so you can come here. There's another one for basic electrical so then here are some electrical remember I made you guys draw these some, some of these symbols a while back the battery and then this little switch this yeah <laughs> of course I didn't want to tell you guys this but then the, but then I have to tell you guys for the welding symbol because um, we um, so the AutoCAD that we have we don't purchase um, any other um, like they call it add-ins. So that's why I, I have to show you guys this so you guys can go get the symbols. Yeah, so this is a pretty cool tool here. If you um, don't have it in your tool palette, because I'll show you what the tool palette has. So this is a typical tool palette. So you come in here, you type in tool palette. Where you at? Where do you type that at? Um, down here in the command. Oh, okay. So you type in the command tool palette, and th these are typical tool palettes. So then this was like a modeling. This is um, construction uh, constraint. Um, this is annotations. These are more for like um, civil, kind of like you know where the elevation meter, uh, 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 the elevation, and then um, like so like the flow chart. Underground. You know underground stuff, piping. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then they have architect. They had drew already a door for you here. Um, the windows, remember I made you guys draw a window. You can actually come in here and do the window. What the tree. What was that tree that you did earlier? Huh? I, was, I was like, what is this? Because I picked up one of the things that gave me a red tree. Oh. It was like red, it was an outline of red. Oh, the, so this tree? 
yeah. yeah, it's it's a uh, it's a tree of life, but then it's a also a yin yang symbol. So then oh, yeah. this is the yeah. I did this in um, I I actually stole it, and then <laughs> converted to DWG and then <laughs> lasered it out. So I'll I will show you guys where to go <laughs> stole these stuff too. So. <laughs> But yeah, so you, there's already a tree here. There's a car. You can put it in a car. Like, oh, that's so cool. Uh, yeah, it looks like a Camaro, a Camaro or a, a Mustang. It's Pontiac. No, it's Pontiac. Oh, oh, it is a Pontiac. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I guess this person <laughs> likes Pontiac. The creator, yeah, it doesn't allow you to pick any other cars. <laughs> yeah, and then it gives you um, a toilet. See, you guys can have toilet also when you're drawing a toilet <laughs> yeah <laughs> so those are just pretty cool things here and then mechanical you will get all these here so there has some screws here where you can scale it down or scale it up oh, doesn't let me delete it and then electrical some of the symbols and then civil these are more for road and geomatic symbols here and then structural the beams and then different type of hatch you can change your hatch colors and then tables this is where you do your tables and if you click down here it gives you all these other ones too so let's see camera oh this is when you're you're um, inputting in um, a camera like uh, pictures of buildings and then you want to draw over them like you know how we did Google map, uh, Google map, yeah, so Google Earth, yeah. Sorry, it had low pressure sodium. <laughs> <laughs> These are for like, um, I would say this is for like chemistry and stuff like that. Our oil, like oil, right? Oh yeah, you could do it for oil, like my well, I'm like the W and then low. I'm like, we're yeah. doing the oil kind. Of thing. <laughs> yeah, and then fluorescent. The um, the in so these are more like if you're doing like um, interior design, you know. So that that's what the pa Puto palettes have, but unfortunately it does not have welding. So that's why I had to show you guys where to find the welding table. Okay. So do you guys have any questions? Are you gonna show us how to do the rotate of the table? The rotate of the table as oh yes I'm gonna show you guys how to do the isometric so let's come here so for isometric a cool way you know how we have the grid going up and down here only you come in here this is the ISO drafting so um, you do ISO left ISO top and then, where did it go? And an ISO right. So when you're looking at this drawing, right? When you're looking at the welding table, let's snip it. So we don't have to keep coming back and forth. delete my car okay so when you're looking at this you want to look at like the way how the the grain is going right so the grid is going so you can draw this in ISO right that's what we're in right now so ISO right or you can draw an ISO left where you're drawing towards the long grain of this and then so when you do ISO you want to be in 30 it automatically turns you to 30 30, 60, 90, 120, 45 is like if you want to see something behind it, if it has a flange. So I'll do 45. So if I'm like drawing something like this.
I used to draw these window flange all the time. You're like a shadow or something? Um, no, it, it's um, window flange. So these, um, your windows oh, has these, okay. um, look, oh, doesn't want me to draw that arc. Something like that. So 45, you want to show like, you want to actually show like this part here. So that's why you would draw 45, right? You want to show exactly how sharp that cut is. So if I do. So if I drew it like that, so that means that this part is kind of hidden, right? So you can't really see it, but then you also see the full length here, right? But then if I drew it at 30, so this kind of looked like it bumps up to that up here, right? So then if I drew it at 30, you're looking at, Copy that. Now you see it that it's a little bit lower. Oh, yeah. yeah. So a lot of time you when you draw in 45, it's because you want to see a sharp corner or you want to see the true length, how it's it's actually clamping down or what's behind it. But um, typically you would draw in 30 degrees. For the angle. Mm -hmm, for the angle. So those are. Is that a chair or is that the table? Um, this is a flange on your window. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's a window flange. And some, it goes something like this. So this is what sits in your window, so you can, um, so there won't be no leak through your window. So I got something like that. Extend. So it sits like that on your window. Like it goes in and then the window comes and it flush right on top of here. And then there's another wood piece that they'll put right in this area right here. So yeah, so that would be your wood trimming comes and bump up to here. So if there's any water that would drip, it will come down and it will drip right off here. Yeah, you don't see it because there's a little trim on it. And this little piece, that the little, um, we call it the little kick out here, it's like pretty tiny. It's like like a quarter uh, inch. So then you you might not even see it, you might not even notice it, but it's there. So the wood piece, the trim will come up here. The window sill will actually sit up here in this little flange, flange right here. Yeah, so it sits here. So flush, and then this part goes up, up, up against the little trim of the window. Yeah. So you wouldn't even notice this part too. Yeah. yeah so this is the 45, and then if I was to draw, I'll draw the 30. You actually see that this part is longer than this part. So then you actually see what's behind it, yeah. 
in front of it actually it'll be in the front so this will be what's behind it yeah so for this one it's actually at a 30 so then let's go ahead and change it back to 30 yeah it's already at 30 so for this table it gives you the dimension right it's at 42 inches so you come in here, it'll tell you the dimension. Dimensions are in inches. So then that's how you know it's in inches. Um, many times, sometimes there was like this dimensions is in millimeters. So make sure you always look at your callouts also. Um, a lot of time uh, people do in millimeters because they're shipping off away like out of the US. So that's why it'll be in millimeters. Because everybody else uses metric, right? Mm -hmm. yeah, so then you will draw your first line here. And then the width of it is 22. <coughs> 22. Oh, 22. Sorry, I, I don't know where I was looking at. I was trying to do some math. <laughs> so you offset it 22 that way. And then that's how you got your line to the other side. So you just connect them. And then you do your leg here. So it's about what? This is one fifth, I think. Is that what, where do we get that number from? So I don't know how we get, where we get the leg number from. The leg is the right width. here. The leg length is from there, but where do we get the width of it? Like uh, the thickness, is the thickness It doesn't give you the, the thick, yeah, the it doesn't. on the welding, uh, the welding symbol? It doesn't give you the thickness, huh? It does give, I think it does, though, right here, look at, because um, um, I think this is the. Oh, the leg is right here. No. Yeah, it's telling you that the leg is, oh, it's going to give you, yeah, yeah, sorry. It's it's like this picture is not pretty clear. So the, the leg is the um, this one, 29.75. 20, yeah. Because it's upside down and it's. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't give you the width, huh, yeah, of the, the table. Yeah, the thickness of the, of the leg. Uh, I thought it did, though, on this bobbing symbols because what are we doing? It doesn't give you anything. to give you anything. I'll say just when you draw the ISO, I'll, I'll say it says the eight millimeter boat leg length and then maybe not. Maybe not. <laughs> I was like, wait. Length, yeah, it doesn't give you that. It just gives you the length, the hair. So then, I thought the leg lengths were 29.75 with mm -hmm. the length, and then the from the top to the middle bar was 20, and then across was 33. I I think it's from the bottom. It's giving you the bottom, not from the top. It's giving oh. you the bottom, yeah. The so bottom. This part, like this part right here on the drawing, is 33, 20, but 29.75. These legs right here. So 33 will be um, the distance, yeah. And then, so it'll be, and then it's 20 from, 20 from the leg up here, so 20. And then how do we know top. how far to go up on that routing um, to make the, like, the, oh, I, I never mind, I got yeah. this. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> do you guys have any other questions? 30 questions. So we can only draw the ISO view when we have the ISO right or left selected in the, no, so you don't even have to. I can tear off the grid, and it will be gone. But then that's so it. Mm -hmm. So you would draw it. Um, you would draw per the degree that you have here. So which is like I showed you, thirty or forty-five. But the, I would say draw in thirty. That's the typical. I can't even draw without it. And then I'll do. It's already there for me. The thirty. And then if you do the grid, it just to help you that you're. <laughs> yeah, so if you do the grid, it'll show you if you're going correctly because, say, if you're drawing ISO top, right, and you're like, oh, okay, I'm drawing a top. So then you understand, okay, this is going correctly because my angles are going correctly. And then you go ISO left, oh, it's ISO right. So if you go ISO right, you know, you're going, you're not going correctly because, you know, it's going this way. So then that means that you're going to have to draw your drawing going this way. So it's ISO left. 
so how it's going left here and then from here it says that's um, three inches uh, three feet and uh, three inches inside so we're gonna do oops, offset and then we're gonna do three And this is the wherever this corner is at, that's where your leg's gonna start because it's three inside. So that I'll come in here. And the leg is 29.750. And you just copy it. When you draw ISO, it's all about copying. You already drew it. Just you just need to put it where it belongs. So from there, you can start doing your connections. So here, it's telling you it was 20, right? Yeah. So let's go 20. So 20 is right here. And then remember, let your um, let your your little dynamic guide you. So it'll be here, and then your trim. It's 13 across that way on that. That one is 13. Yeah, it's, so let's oh. measure it. Is it 13? No, oh, it's at 16. So let's do dim angle. Oh, it doesn't want to go down. Oh, you know what? It's because I didn't draw. I didn't draw fully the leg, because it's the thickness right here too. Because if you come in here, it's actually mounted onto this part. So here, yeah, it does give me the thickness of it, huh? I thought it was the one by one on the top of the top of the. So that means that if I go, I will have to offset this. Because it's at 16, right? So that I'll have to offset it 2.5. That way, 2.5 this way. Why is it at 16? Because if I measure it. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So then you will have to subtract that 3. So there'll be 2.5 the width here. So from, from here to here, it'll be 2.5. So from, from here to here is 2.5, even though it didn't give you. But then you would know it's 2.5 because when you come in here, right, and you do. And we're putting the legs on the exact same, no, they're not going to be on the exact same opposite corner. I mean, like on the same corners of the each. Because, like, you have a, the square up there, and then I would thought that the other leg would have been to the other top. So the square is where it's at. So then um, you will actually come in here. So let's draw a 2.5. Oh, that's a square. Oh, sure. Let's rotate this. So this is your, this is where your leg's gonna start. And then let's do from here. Yeah, so that's where your leg's gonna start. So this here is the offset. Remember we did the offset, the reference line, because it's offset three inside. So it'll be like this. And then now, remember, you just copy these, plug it into where it needs to go, which is here, here. And then you don't see that side. 
and then so you will see this side, this side, this side, this side, this one, but you won't see that one so you can delete that. And then from here, you could just come in and connect the lines for the legs. You guys see that? Yeah. And then are you going to trim all the top of that? Yep. Okay. You're just going to trim it. So when you draw ISO, it's all about copy, paste, and trimming. That's it. And then oh. from here, remember we did that. So then we're going to offset it. it. Looks like it's looks like it's 2.5 also. We can make it 2.5. It looks like this part. Oh, the so. thickness of the bottom. Mm -hmm. So let's do the dimension again. Make sure we get it correct. So 20. Oh. Let me change my dimension text. No, didn't do anything. Okay, so let's do that. Okay, so it'll be 20 there, and then we're gonna come in and then we're gonna do the line, all right? So 20, and wherever it connects, so let it guide you. Trim. Nope, that's wrong. That's wrong again. It's going across that way is a short end, right? Mm -hmm. So it's it's, um, it's 13 a 20. going that way. Oh no, I'm talking. Uh, I'm coming from down, from the yeah, top. Yeah, from the down you're going. Oh, so you're 20, going 20, yeah. So it's 20 here. Oh, oh, okay. So then from here, we're gonna do offset. So 2.5, right? So we do 2.5 down. So extend here. And we're going to trim. And then we don't see that in there. So will be. I did too far. Oh yeah, that's correct. Yeah, so it'll be like that. And then from here, remember we have that other piece that will come in here. And then we'll offset that one. 2.5. Think this one went too far down, did it? Oh, no, that's correct. Oh yeah, because they join at this corner here. So I think you should marry. I deleted my tabletop. Okay. So here, let's trim stuff that we don't see. We don't see these lines. We don't see these guys. Trim to make it more cleaner. We don't see these guys. Oh, trim too far. Correct, and now we're gonna come in here. So we actually don't see the back guy, so we're gonna do trim. And we're gonna trim these because this this post is in the front, right? So we're not gonna see that. So 
the unit from the left side or the because the bar spells well from my view. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So I drew it ISO left so that you're gonna go left side, right? But then you can also draw it ISO right. So then when you come in here, change it to ISO right, and then now you're gonna draw your table going this way. Oh, so you did it from the short side. Mm -hmm. I see now what you're saying. I did it from the long side. So the long side oh, is okay. ISO left. And then so if I want to do ISO right, I'll draw ISO right. Going this way, so which you're going to draw this part, right? So when I draw that, it's going to be 22. That will be 22. And then this side will be... Be 30, 32? Uh, 42 and 42. 42. 22. 42. Wait, is it 42? 42 for the late, yeah. Okay, 42. Oh, it's did two. So then that's how you would draw that side. And it's really going at that 30 degree angle? Mm hmm. Okay. So copy, copy, copy here. And it will be that. So I drew it ISO um, left, so it looked like this. And if you drew it ISO right, it will look like how it's going here. And then it will look more like this. So you could tell how the corners are more sharper. You don't see that third line, the third bar going on the other side on the ISO left? Mm -hmm. You the don't. Back, on the back bar? Yeah. Oh, you know what? There's actually none. Because remember, when we go back to go look at the welding. It's not about on the other side. Yeah, so actually there's none here. See, there's none. So I did it wrong. I, this side is supposed to be on the front side here. That's what I was telling you. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. No, you're good. Because I was saying there's supposed to be a bar in between those bars. Like, like so, be here. Oh, no. It's here. Join. Can you do it like that? Join? Or no? Uh, no, so let's see, it's supposed to be here, so extend, there you go. So this line is supposed to be here, there you go. And then, I don't know, let's see, nope, <laughs> it didn't work. <laughs> now you can join them now, I bet. Yeah, you can join them now. So let's trim here, here. one back together. Here we go. So that's how that one was started looking. So then if you guys draw an ISO right, it will be th going this way. And then if you guys draw an ISO left, it will look like this. So either or is fine. It's just like the preference, like how I was telling you guys, like, you know, how you, you could draw a 45 or you could draw a 30. Um, typical will be uh, ISO right. That's the typical, but you could draw ISO left. You could draw ISO top. Like they did? Um, they they bottom, do uh, ISO right. Yeah. So ISO top. You just come in here, you just follow these lines here. So it'll be 22, and then it'll be 42. Yeah, so then it's more showing the top. And then the orthographic is gonna be with the meter line? Um, yes, the other graphic is going to be the, with the meter line. You guys have any other questions for this one? Yeah, so um, uh, this will be the only ISO one that you guys do. Uh, I think um, James does want to do another one, but then we want to save as much as we want for 3Ds for um, CAD 24. So um, the reason why I made you guys do ISO so you guys can 
learn how to um, you know, point those symbols and also see how these are attached and how the symbols are. So um, I'll come in here. So this will be 2.5. Right, and then it'll be something like this, right? So where I'm gonna do the symbol at, I'm gonna bring that symbol that I just did. And I'm gonna put it right here. Scale it up a little bit. Let's do five. So I'm gonna put the symbol here. So it'll be like that. Yeah, so you will do the symbol for the top, the leg. So then here, remember we don't see this part, right? So what I, you would do is you will put it onto the bottom so that you will actually come draw the bottom. And then let's do so it's gonna be bottom, front, and then right? Yeah, bottom, shows? front, and right, and then, then the isometric. So offset. That's why I couldn't figure out what the hell three. I was <laughs> <laughs> All right, and then wherever the squ square goes. And then this is where you come in and put your symbol at, and then call that part out. So this is where you would call this out so then um, the welder know okay this um, these legs are attaching to the top yeah so it's a little too much so it'll be like like that yeah. you guys have any questions on that or so there's only going to be three symbols that we're going to be putting on the table, right? The, mm -hmm. So it will be... The wild cross section? Oh, there's two wild cross. Oh, so it is... So yeah. let's go here. So it just to... Um, these are not going to be the exact ones that they might use. It's just to um, show call outs for the legs to attach to each other. So then three and four to the legs and then legs to the table. So then um, you would use like maybe this one here or maybe these over here. Oh, so these ain't, this isn't the thing to the... No, 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 no. It's just, it's just example. So it says okay, here, okay, okay. use the following symbol. So then I will tell you here, it says, um, <laughs> it says, so see uh, callouts below to help identify which callout are needed to attach. Like, you know, so as long as the legs are attaching and they they look like they're attaching, so you can't be like, oh, I want to do this one. You know, <laughs> and then I'll be like, oh, okay, where, where is, um, you know. I was how? like, I don't see no butt on this, on this, on this table nowhere. I'm like, no, no, no. Go? <laughs> so, or like, I wouldn't be seeing this, like, you know, you know, how, how you put the table together like this? Yeah. Are you putting like this together? So it would be more like, okay, Probably so like be here. Yeah. Um, so actually, like, these things already, <laughs> like, so here, like, how, how, see, like this one, they'll do, they'll do like, a, you know, a small one and a big one. Uh, that's fine. That's how. Why do they do that? Um, it's so, so sometimes this side has more of a pressure, or like it's holding more on that side, and or like um, it's leaning more towards this side, so it needs to have a bigger welding. Or this side, so this is just to keep it attached. So um, I should have brought. I should take a picture. But I have a um, a what's it call it? A computer chair, right? And then they weld all the parts together. So that in the middle where um, you know where all the weights at they weld it like super thick right there and then where it spreads out to just the wheels is like super tiny little yeah little tiny marks yeah but it's funny because when I looked at my chair I was like oh wow they weld it all together I can't even take it apart <laughs> so they even weld the um, the what's it called wheels into it yeah so then I was like okay what if I need to replace one <laughs> yeah so it was yeah, a, it just wild it off. Yeah, it was a super expensive chair. It was like five hundred dollar for that chair, but I was like, okay, I guess they they wanted to make sure it doesn't break. <laughs> so, yeah. 
but that's for that um, project assignment there. And then those who didn't um, do the other one or wasn't here for that one, for the call, screw call out, so you still have until next week to turn it in. So that will be that one there. And then make sure you guys are doing your wood design also. I did say that I wasn't getting you guys tons of work since you know we've been doing a bunch of these designs. So the wood design, make sure you um, do your wood uh, presentation also, and then answer those questions, those three questions. Oh, of how yeah. we're, why we're doing it and why we picked it? Mm -hmm.